Hey everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to reorder audio tracks in a video file using file flows. So the first thing you got to do is go to flows, click add. Uh, we're going to be basing this on a video uh, a template because it's a video file. Uh, so we select blank video template and click add. Uh, the first node um, we're presented with by default is a video file, so since we're working with video files that's what we want. Uh, we want to do an audio track reorder, since that's what we we want to do. So um, the point of this is, say you want to have always AC3 audio um, first in the video file, it's because your players, clients, uh, prefer AC3 audio and they can't decode DTS, for example. So we say we want AC3 first. Um, we also might want AAC as a backup one in case um, the video file doesn't have AC3 in it or um, our player supports AAC. So what this means is, um, say there's 10 audio tracks. Um, any audio track that is AC3 will appear first in the video file after this happens. Any AAC will appear after the AC3 and any other audio tracks will appear in the same order just after these ones. So if the first track was DTS, uh, the second track was AAC, and the third track was AC3, the output of this would be first track AC3, second track AAC, third track DTS. Um, so it's got two uh, output nodes, uh, first one and second one. If you come back in here, this will tell you what, ones, uh, what they are. So a first output node saying, audio tracks were reordered, second one means they weren't reordered, either they were in the right order or these tracks weren't found and the audio order couldn't change. Uh, so uh, once they've been processed we would have a temporary file and we go replace the original file so we bring down this node and we connect them up and this means uh, the audio track did get reordered uh, it's in the temporary file and this will just replace that temporary file with the original file and that's it that's the entire flow so any uh, video files that are detected uh, will run, run through this audio track to make sure it's ac3 first and aac second and then it'll just replace the original file if it was changed and that's it nice and simple uh, well that's it for today take care bye Thank <music> you.